Here we go. We're back, guys. And we've got a special. We've got a Euro 2020 slash 2021 England squad picking um, episode here. So what we're going to do is we're all going to go through and we're going to pick the squads, not what we think will be picked, but what we would pick if we was the prick with a waistcoat. And... Um, <laughs> We should have put a waistcoat on. We should have put a oh, waistcoat we put on. Waistcoats on. Yeah. Right, get the waistcoats, guys. <laughs> Cuts. <laughs> Cuts. <laughs> Pause. Um, so how we're going to do it is we're going to go through in sections. So we're going to go goalies, defenders, midfielders, strikers. And we'll all sort of pick our own. And then all of the ones that we've all picked that are sort of unanimous choices um, will be in our final squad. And then all of the ones that aren't unanimous will sort of be put to, to one side. And then say, for example, there's there's one goalkeeper position left and we've all picked two that are the same. And then the one goalkeeper position that's left, one of us has picked Henderson, one's picked Johnston and two have picked Pope or whatever. Them three all get put in and we all vote as to who we would agree to take. Like between us, we all come to an agreement. And we can fight the corner for the one that we've picked or whatever. So we do it that way. And by the end of the episode, we'll have our final 26 that will be the only football fans England squad. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to we're gonna release it on Monday. So when you lot will be seeing this and listening to this, it should be Monday, which is a day before um, Southgate will be releasing his squad. So let's get straight in, boys. Another point I want to make before we go in... Um, the likes of Harry Maguire, Jordan Henderson, um, Calvin Phillips, who took a knock today, <clears throat> the ones that are sort of borderline injured that we're not too sure on, take them as, as if they're fit, um, like as if they're going to be fit for the start of the Euros. So we'll, we'll go on that. Like I'm not going to say that, like, for example, people like Henderson, if he hasn't played for however long, that still is a factor, but we'll take it as if he's fit from the first day of the, of the Euros. So um, we'll go straight in, boys. And the first position we're going to go with is GKs. So goalkeepers. Um, first off, we'll go with you, Greg. Another thing I want to say on this is you have to take three. Um, I have to take three. Yeah, well, I, I was very much of the mindset, and I've always have been, that I'd only take two, two GKs to a tournament. I know it's risky, yes. but I would only take two GKs to get an extra midfielder, striker, whatever. But the it's normally FIFA rules for the World Cup that you have to take a mandatory of three, but you over have brought it in for this tournament because it's 26-man squads. They've said you have to take three. So, Greg, who are your three GKs, mate? Well, that fucks up my... Uh... <laughs> that fucks up my squad. Oh, did you not know that? <laughs> No, I've Greg, got to, I've got you play them. football. Right, well, you I'll play you. football manager. You know the fucking score. It's three well, goals. No, listen. If this is this is my squad. I would only take two. Yeah, but you, you have to stick to the rules, Greg. Right. So I will tell you. I tell you what. Go I'll, someone else then, because I've got loose. I'll, I'll start us, and then we'll come around to you. We'll come to you last, Greg. Fucking so hell. my my three are Jordan Pickford, Nick Pope, and Sam Johnston are my three. Oh. You just because he's because he's United, you are a will get just saying, mate. Um, it's your, it's your squad boss, Kyle, over to you, mate. So, Pickford and Pope, the same as you, but I'm taking Dean Henderson as my third as a, as a third as well. Dean Henderson, fair play. DS, who's yours? Pickford and Pope, but the number nine, but I'm going with Ramsdale. Oh. Oh, hold a bang. I'm not having it. I can't do it. I can, I can just see Henderson doing a clanger. I can see he's got a clanger in him in a tournament. Oh, we'll, we'll come to that because we will get to debate the third. So we just put our teams out first. Um, Greg, Greg, who are your three? Well, two plus one, should we put it? Uh, right, Pickford Pope. And then I've got <laughs> Dean Henderson. Oh, he's on Hendo and all. At least someone knows what they're talking about in this group, Greg. Right, so Pickford and Pope are finals. They're, they're in our squad. Yeah. Um, so now we can debate on, on, on the third the third place. 
So I've gone with Sam Johnston. Greg and Kyle have gone with Dean Henderson. And Dave's Maybe gone with Aaron there. Ramsdale. So I'll put my, my point of view first f- for Sam Johnston. For me, you've got, to, you've got to discount the teams that they're playing for and what they've achieved in regards to... Obviously, Henderson is playing for a team that's finished second in the league and have, have had a much better season than West Brom. Um, but the performances that Sam Johnston's put in, the saves that the man has made, he's right up there. I think he's, he's first in the division for the saves made. Obviously, he's going to be facing more shots. Like, I'll take that into account, but he's still got to make the saves. Um, and for me... Henderson makes more mistakes. He's you not, not seen what he done today. I've not seen today's no. Yeah, he well, made an after, error after today. You wouldn't put him in. Well, I wouldn't put him in anyway. But <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about oh Sam Johnston. I'm talking about Sam. Oh yeah, Johnston. Oh, I've seen what he done today. Yeah, but for me, Henderson makes far more mistakes than him. Like he, he does that. That is a fact. He he makes more mistakes than Sam Johnston. Yeah, but and, Henderson. Henderson was in his spot last year, like as in he played for Sheffield United last year, who were a lower team, yeah. faced a lot of shots, made it. He had a good season last year. He did. But the other thing you've got to take into account, he's not played a full season. As as much as he's he's had more more performance, he's sort of broke into that Man United team. Mm. He's not someone who's playing week in, week out. And I think that's a massive part of of taking someone to the Euros. Like they've got if he's not even look like a first choice for his team, it's just yeah, it's not. It's he's, not he's, really. he's only going. He's only going there as a third choice goalkeeper, possibly. Yeah, exactly. And he and he and he's been so. I don't really think. I think as a third choice goalkeeper, Henderson is more than better than the rest of them. I, I, I get. I get where you're going with John. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, he's had. A, he's had a flying season. For, for example, would you uh, would you have Sam Johnston at Man United? I've even heard you on our podcast say Henderson's yeah. not for you. So, No, yeah. Um, and I've heard you say that you'd have Sam Johnston back. As a number two, not as my number... I, want one in my, I don't want either of them number one at United, to be honest with you. But I certainly wouldn't have Johnston. I'd probably take Henderson over Johnston. But I guess, you know what? I think they're better, I don't know what, in all fairness, I think they're both on a level. There's not a lot of difference between yeah. them. But I'm just, I'm just thinking... He's played in Europe. He's played in bigger stages. He's, you know, I just feel like he just edges it for me. For that's me, fair. Henderson. That's, it's, it's all opinion. Um, Dave, we'll go with you first uh, before we go to <laughs> Henderson, guys. Um, Ramsdale, talk to yes. me. To be fair, it's going to be my most controversial pick. The, the rest of the squad's not really that controversial. I did have Henderson in there, but... Like you say, I've, he, now he's made the sort of step up to United. No, I was hoping he'd look a bit better than he than he has. To be fair, and I, like you say, there's been a few mistakes. Um, I don't know. Like it's a third choice, so it's not. Hopefully, the tournament won't rest on on that. It's just recent game. Seen Ramsdale and just thought, you know what? He's a good shot stopper. If worst comes to the worst, <laughs> and one keeper gets struck by lightning, and another one breaks his leg or something, he comes in. I could imagine him just being a bit of a hero in a game or something, just like a cat jumping away, clawing away shots and that. Whereas Henderson, I'm just seeing like a clangor happen and, and his head in his hands. There's no real kind of like, like um, it's just a gut feeling. That's the only reason. It's fair mm. play, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kyle, over, over to you, mate. Like The other thing I want to say as well before I go on, mine was a toss-up between Johnson and Henderson, but I've just prefer Johnston as, as an all-round goalkeeper. But, um, yeah, go, go on, Kyle. Make yeah, your no, argument. No, look, well, like you said, I've, I've been very critical of him anyway. I mean, didn't really want him to come in for De Gea, but obviously he had his chance. He'd come in. He, he'd done a right, actually, Henderson. Obviously, in recent weeks, he's made a few mistakes, definitely. But, yeah, I just think, again, I think he's only going to be third choice anyway. I think even if, if I think Pickford's probably number one. I don't think we're blessed with superb... I would say Pope's got his mistakes, but I think the order for me would be Pickford, Pope and then Henderson. So I think, like Dave just touched on, for a third-choice goalkeeper, I don't think... It, it doesn't really matter too much who it is, but obviously I wouldn't choose Jack Butland, but I'm obviously going to go with, like... I just think Henderson, he's, he's been playing first team for United for a good few months now, probably. 
yes, he's made a mistake, but who hasn't? Pope, Pope makes they all make mistakes. So mm. I just think yeah, with, 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 with a bit more experience. Yeah, I just think with Henderson, Henderson's a bit, a bit more experienced now. I think he's all right. I, yeah, I don't think I, I, I definitely think he's in the top three goalkeepers in the country for England as such, like English goalkeepers. Yeah, Gory. But yeah. Well, mate, I didn't even have a third choice in my squad, so I've just been put on the spot, and I've just gone with Dean Henderson. I just think he is better than the rest. To be, in my opinion, he's better than Ram. Ramsdale's. He's obviously un- under twenty one's keeper. He's just come off the back of a a tournament, but he's had a. Sh- I don't know. I know he's been battered, obviously, because Sheffield United's defence are not the best, and that obviously proves with them being relegated. But he is a good shot, like shot stopper, as Dave said. But I'm just nah. I'm just not. I'm not feeling someone that's been relegated, and. I don't actually rate him anyway, to be honest. Okay. He might, he might, he might save like a few shots here and there, but uh, no, I'm not really. And yeah, Henderson over Johnston for me. I'm like, it's fair. Johnston, like, yeah. I, I'm quite happy to swallow Henderson going in ahead of of the others. Um, so I'll, I'll take that one on the chin. We're outvoted anyway, Dave. But is that I how it works think, then? When, when we debate, we we, do, we go to a vote and pick out the two. Is it? Hundred percent. Yeah. I just, I just think. Um, what you're saying, you've both got your points, and they are. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Like literally, I think Henderson, yeah, bigger club. He's been, he has been number one this year for a point. I just, yeah, I don't know. I, again, I wouldn't have even taken he's a third. In, player, so he's played in Europe as well, like I say. But for a third choice goalkeeper, you could probably toss it up between Henderson, Ramsdale, and Johnston, and it wouldn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. What DS said, what is, I mean, can you imagine the odds? What is the odds of actually the third choice keeper ever getting a minute? Well, I, I had a look at this because I, I was sort of debating with a few people at work, the reasons why I'd take two goalkeepers. And in, I, I don't know in regards to the Euros what the stats are, but I know in World Cups, the third goalkeeper's only ever played three times since the World Cup began. Oh. So it's very, very, and, and a lot of that is sort of, Third place playoff is yeah, sort of like yeah. the the last group stage game where a team's already out. Like it's it's normally that that kind of thing. You yeah. know what I mean? So, no. Nah. But we, we've got to pick three. It's just right. yeah, one of them really. Um. So yeah, we'll 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 cement them them three: Pickford, Pope, Henderson, um, as our three goalies. I'm not too disappointed with. Henderson going in ahead of Johnson. Like I said, it was a bit of a toss-up anyway for me, but mm. yeah, quite happy with that. Um, like I said, when we go on, it is going to be a unanimous thing. So, like in in that that position, two votes for Henderson, yeah. one for the other two. It's just how it works. But there might be occasions where, for example, one of us could have twisted your arm with our argument. Mm-hmm. Might have put a good case, and you might go, actually, you've got a good point or whatever, and then you can change. So, we, we we just do it that way and we'll all sort of put it to a vote. But um, we're, we'll move on to um, defenders now. How should we do this? Should we list all the defenders? Should we list right-backs, then centre-backs, then left-backs? Ash, what do you reckon? Well, we can do le- left-backs, centre-backs and right-backs. You would go the other way, wouldn't they? Wouldn't you? you would go from left to right. You're not reading the, not reading the book now, bro. That's the way I go. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. Well, we'll start, we'll start with left-backs. <laughs> Um, Greg, how many have you picked? Uh, just two. What about all you boys? I've just gone with two left backs. Oh, yeah, well, I, yeah, but I've got, yeah, I've got, I've got more players that can play there. That, you know what I mean? I've yeah. picked more than two full, like wing backs. Right, well, but, a, a, as left I'm backs, left, then let, let's go with backs, our yeah. two. So, well, our two, three, whatever. So, Greg, yeah. who, who are your two left backs? Chill well and sure. Chill well and sure. They're the same for me. I've gone with yeah. them two. Dave, Dave. the only two in the country, I think, are they? <laughs> Sorry, Ryan Bertrand. Right, so <laughs> Sorry, mate. we've all just picked them then, yeah? Yeah. I'll tell That's you what, that, though. That was that easy Luke, enough. I like Luke Thomas, mate. He will be, I think he'll be it's there and thereabouts soon. Yeah, mm. 100%. And I think that at right back as well, James Justin, is for the future. Yeah. yeah I well. think he's been very unfortunate with his injury because the yeah, way the season was like panning him, out, man. he was in my team. 
Yeah. He could have snuck in here easily. 100%. And same with, we'll get to it, but same with Harvey Barnes in midfield. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it'd have been in, in for me if he'd have continued on the way he was going. Yeah. Um, right, now now we move on to centre-halves. I've, I've gone with four. Go on in. I will put mine out there. I've gone with John Stones. Harry Maguire, yeah. Connor Cody, and this one I've chopped and changed between two, because um, how I'm looking at it is for the future. So I've gone with three that are sort of going to be our pretty much centre backs that we will pick from, and then I've gone one, which I think will need tournament experience going into the World Cup, which you've got to think is only next year. Yeah. Um, and I've gone with Ben White as my fourth. So uh, they're mine. Good shout. Good shout. Kyle, who's yours? Stones Maguire. I've actually gone with Tyro Mings. I think he's had a strong finish to the season, to be fair. And I think he's going to want to take a left side, up, you know, left left footed centre half. Oh, he's just a shit Esri Conser. And do you know what? I spoke, oh, I'm going to go Nat Phillips. Oh, bold call. I know Gory's going to go with him and all, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> I can I, see the grin on his face. <laughs> we spoke about it before. Again, I just don't really think he's done a lot wrong for Liverpool. And he's, and I think if he was playing again, like next to someone like maybe a Maguire or Stones, if he needed to, he, I mean, he's been playing against that like, like Reese Williams, no disrespect to him, but they're both sort of, Newbies, isn't they? But I think he's a bit. He's all right. He, I think he's all right. He's um, all right, yeah. And I'm just thinking. And do you know what? I'm just thinking. Connor Cody for me. He was. He was originally in mine. Cody. I just think he's. Cody's more experienced, but is he? Is he much better than that, Phillips? I wouldn't say he's much. You know, I, again, I, I think he is. He's just not playing in a better team, and he's such a leader, man. I don't know if you've listened to much of. Like the well, watch much of the games like of Wolves, but you can really hear him without the crowd. He is fucking yeah. barking orders, and I love a player like that. Even on yeah. the training pitch, mate. Even if he's not playing, having someone like him screaming and hollering every two seconds, drumming it into these sort of players, it's it's, it's a good influence. But but yeah, they okay. are Stones, Maguire, Mings, Phillips. Fair play, Dave. I've gone Maguire, Stones. I've gone with Mings. Um, I think he has had, you need that left-sided player for the balance, but there's been se- several games this year. I remember one, especially against Arsenal, when he, he was an absolute beast, like nothing got past him. I know he does have ups and downs, but certain games, he is brilliant. Um, and if he can find that form for England, he would, he would, he would do a good job in there. Um, and in the last spot, I was, I'm in an hour in between Nat Phillips, you know, he was the same as, like he's, like you say, he started off, he's grown as the season's gone on. Now, now he's even popping up with a few goals. Like he's, when, when Liverpool need a goal, he's in the, he's in the box trying to, trying to, trying to get in there. I think he, I think he's looking very all right, but I have just gone with Cody for what you said as well, like the, the leadership. I think he, even if Cody doesn't even play, I think he will, give them an extra something in that dressing room. He is such a leader. Like he reminds me of a little bit of Carragher, how he plays. There's no yeah. like Malfi Scouser. Yeah, it's just he's if you're <laughs> he was <laughs> you No know what he was just unfortunate at Liverpool. He came through at a wrong time, mate. Mm. Yeah. But I mean say if say if we're defending the league and we've got 10 minutes and you want to bring an extra defender on, I think he'd make himself a bit of a cult hero, you know what I mean? He's yeah that, that's what I've gone gone for him. Fair play, mate. Um, Greg, over to you, mate. We're going to have a good debate here, I think. This is a good one. Um, I've gone for your standard two, Maguire and Stones, and then I've gone for two that are very debatable. Um, But with one of the spots, it was a toss-up between three, like three players. But I've gone with Ben White. Yeah. For the other who I think is should be a certainty because he's just a ball-playing, good defender. And he obviously had a good season at Leeds. He's grown into the Brighton team. There's lots of interest around him. And I think he's a baller. 
There's a lot of rumours. He might be at Dortmund next Dortmund. summer, you know, yeah. this summer. I just, think he's a ball, I just think he's a baller and I really think that we should be getting in, like, in and around the team. 100%, I agree, yeah. And the other spot was, it's a toss-up between Phillips, Cody, Mings and Lewis Dunk. Do you, do you, want, do you want me to tell you who, who my other one, who I was tossing up with Ben White was? Fikeo Tamori. Tamori. Oh my God, we, 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 we spoke, we spoke. Him. We spoke about him. Fuck, again, fucking good at Milan. He's he's uh, he's yeah, been out, of, small out, of, sight, out of mind, hasn't he? But um, mm, out of the small. four, I mean, you've got yeah. I'll go with Nat Phillips, hundred percent. Because <laughs> do you know what he's he has grown and grown and grown, and he is he will throw himself in front of a bus if he needed to. Well, he's had to at Liverpool, and he? he ain't had much protection. <laughs> And he's just grown and grown into a player, mate. And I really do think he's an old school defender. We don't need him to play on the ball. Just give it to someone else that fucking wants the ball. Right. So this is right. So this is mad. So how are we sitting? So Stones and Maguire in they're in our team. Yeah. Yep. The others, we've got two votes for Ben White. We've got two votes for Tyrone Mings. We've got two votes for Connor Cody, and we've got two votes for Nat Phillips. Fucking hell. So. Who, who, who is, we, right, I'll, I'll argue the toss for Tyrone Mings first, boys. So we, we go, we go with you, Dave. You've already half, half done it. So, um, well, he's he's certainly got quite a lot of experience with England now. You can you can give him that. He's, he's the only left footer there. Um, he, he's brilliant in the air. So he, he is he is a leader. You see him sort of ordering people around for Villa. I can see him doing the same for England. Um, certain games, he has he has been brilliant. I, he, I can't remember which one it was now, but the, the other day he had another brilliant game. Um, so I, I can see him having a good tournament, basically, if he, if he can. With with the argument you're making with the whole like left foot sort of left sided centre half, is he starting for you then? Because if he isn't, of, well, if is there much point? Yeah. Have taken yeah. just for being a left side. If he plays a right. three, Southgate sometimes goes to that three at the back, doesn't he? And then he would be ideal in that situation. And I'm kind of thinking because along the lines of if is Maguire going to be fully fit or whatever. I know you said take it that he is, but I'm kind of thinking Stones or Maguire will take a knock. One of them will during the tournament, and we'll have to play someone else. That's sort of the way I'm going down. Fair point, Jonesy. Yeah, pretty much for myself. I, I'm. So am I just, am I just, who am I pick? Oh, what am I picking? Just one here, am I? Or well, well, no. I'll, I'll argue your toss on Mings. Yeah, same as Dave. Really, just same. I think again, if Maguire, if he's not fit, I think Mings will be the one that comes in next to Stones. Mm. That there's your balance. That's, yeah, that's what's in my head as well. Yeah. Um, and again, what? for me, I just think, I just think he's, he's got. There's a lot of teams in the world that play with two right backs. No, I, no, right I know, but it's just, I, I know, but again, it's just an option, isn't it? It's a bit like the way we've always looked at Dyer because Dyer can play in multiple. It's, it's, it's just options. It just gives him that option to play that. I know, I know, I know, I know, what, I know your yeah. argument there, but for I me, what you're saying, yeah, go on. But what top opposition? What top opposition does he actually come up like in the big in the big boy games? Does he really step up and and stand at like, a level? He's been overshadowed by Esri Conter at Villa this season. No, I get, I'd rather have Conter in ahead of Mings. Does he not get to... He, in a, what I'm trying to put out is, in the big games and that, the big, big games, when Villa... Do, does he ever stand out at the, at the top level and say, do you know what, he shouldn't really be playing at Villa. He should be playing higher. Not for me. No, but you, you he can't should be in England because team. of that. No, but there ain't many better. I don't think there's many. He's all right. He's for I me. He's it, he's all, he's decent enough to be in that squad. But centre back is good enough. I, I think he's okay. really blessed at the moment. Centre back position. Yeah. We're not like we've not got a whole lot of quality in there. Yeah. So flip it then. What about the ones that we're talking about that should be maybe thought about as in next year and two years time or three years time, whatever it would be. How good are they going to be? Where's Tyrone Mings going to be then? Championship. 
Yeah. Ben White. But obviously, this is my argument now for these players is Ben White is baller. Ben White ain't going to be at Brighton for a no- He's not going to be. If he is, it, by January next year. He's, that, he, he's only moving up. That's that's him. His, his, his upwards is just upward like movements now. Bang. He gets better and better. Like he stuck, he went on loan from Brighton to Newport. Brighton sort of shipped him off as if like he's not really going to be much caught. We'll just send him to League Two, get a bit of experience. Player of the season, absolutely dominated in League Two. The year later, they've gone well, we'll try him a league above Peterborough. Player of the season, team of the season as well at Peterborough in League One. Then again, one more step up, Leeds in the championship. One of our players of the year. I think he got young player of the year. He's in the team of the season, championship team of the season. Goes to Brighton this year. They only really put him in, in the mix-up because we were so keen on him. They sort of had to throw a bit of money contract-wise to keep hold of him. And they I don't mean, they, at first, they were playing him right wing back just to fit him in the mm. fucking team. Mm. But by the midway through the season, he, he is fucking one of the first t- names down on the sheet. And he's been phenomenal. You ask any Brighton fan, they, they'll tell you how good the, the boy is. And he's played centre midfield, centre defensive midfield, right back, right wing back, centre half. You're telling it, me he couldn't move over to left centre back? Do you know, I, I, would, I would argue more for him than I would Nat Phillips. I love Nat Phillips because obviously he's a Liverpool player and that. But within this argument, I would argue more for Ben White. I think he has to be there. But I think the t- I think I think the debate is between Phillips and and Ben White for me, not 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 Mings and Ben White. All no, but I this think, is what I'm saying. We've got two places to debate here. Yeah, I'm, you could but, take five centre halves. There's no sign you can't take five centre halves. True, yeah, enough. yeah. But I'm saying like Reese James can sit in at third third centre back. Kyle Walker. Kyle so Walker. That's, 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 that's why yeah. my argument is more for. You're, you're, we're talking about a centre back that might not even play. So, say we do get through third game, right? We can play a Ben White. We don't need a Tyro Mings, especially if we've got Reese James, Kyle Walker, Maguire, Stones. Uh, that's just my argument. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in the exact same boat as you, Greg. Like, I know he's left footed, but I'm really adamant that Ming shouldn't be anywhere near the team. Like I, I yeah. do not want to budge on that. But it's again, I'll put it out to everyone. For me, he's 28 years old. He, if he isn't a first choice for England now, he's never going to be. No, like, and, and, and I think in a year's time, even two years time, three years time. When did he? Ben, ben yeah, White's he, 20 he only becomes he only becomes centre back a few years ago. He was a fucking left wing back. Exactly. Yeah, but you look at previous. We've taken Ricky Lambert to World Cups and that. So, and he was never. They, they were never going to be there in the next one. It's not no, always no, about that. No, I do that. know, but I, that's. I'm. I'm not saying that's what he'll be picking. Like he'll be picking for the future. But I would. That's. Yeah. I. I, yeah. I would rather even throw away this Euros, in in preparation for the World Cup to say fuck me, by, by the World Cup. Such and such has got experience. He's played I mean, a big tournament. He's, Mings he's is here. going. In Southgate's squad, oh, Mings is going. Yes, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I can, I can tell you Southgate's you know, 26 is, now. It's fucking yeah. easy. This is what we're debating. But well done, Eric Dyer. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I mean? Eric Dyer's not in any of us. He'll be, a fucking, he'll be, he'll be starting for England. He'll be starting. If Maguire's out, Eric Dyer starts. Eric Dyer's in. It's bullshit. The geezer's I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, again, like, like in the previous, I'm happy to lose Mings. I just think okay, Mings we'll take goes that. ahead of <laughs> I just think Mings for me. I think if you're going to lose one, it's going to be losing Nat Phillips or Ben White. But listen, Dick, I'm Dick, for me. I, I'm I, happy I, to I, lose Nat Phillips. I'll just put him in the mix because I would, you know, highlight that he has done well. I, I would rather Ben White be in, and then yeah, I'd I'd, I'd, I'd swallow Cody missing out for Phillips, if that's mm-hmm. how people would want to go. Yeah. Like if we were all agreeing, like. I, I, I'll put if I'm I like Ben White. Right, who's your two? I'll go Ben White plus one other. I'll let you you boys pick. I'm happy, but I think Ben White should 100 percent be there. The thing is, it's 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 down to either Dave or Kyle to to change their mind. It's still going to be two for Ben I White. I just th- I just think it's nice to have the option of a left sided midfield, a left sided defend, a left footed player. As a I, I just think he's played enough games now for England where if he come in it wouldn't be that much yeah, so of a, I know we, the future we're saying Mings about winning this tournament so I, it, I would be thinking take Mings and, and lose Cody for, for White 
Right, well, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I'll, I'm happy to have Ben White in if and Mings. If it means Ben White's in, I'll take Mings. Greg? Well, this, this is what we're saying. That means we lose Cody. We lose Cody and Phillips. If I know, you two but... are happy for Mings... But and I could take five. Like... You could take five, and I'll take Phillips could go in there. We, look, we might come back to that when we get... We might have might, might yeah, we might, I'll tell you what, we'll thing. disagree and we'll put him in or whatever, but... Okay, we... we'll do, yeah, okay. I would take Mings over Cody because of the left-footed thing. Should we, should we put in Ben, ben White, White and, Tyrone Mings? And, and t- yeah. If we come to the end, yeah, if yeah. we come to the end and there's, and there's a few a couple of spaces left, we can say, hold on, well, we're double up on that centre half yeah. then. One of, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. We'll, we'll do that then. Um, that was fun. Oh. <laughs> um, Took a while. Yeah. Right, so now right backs. <clears throat> we're blessed in this position. You can pick from about 10, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Dave, we'll start with you. How many have you gone with? And who are they? Um, I've gone with two. Oh, it's two. Trent and James. Trent and James. Okay. Kyle. I've gone three. I've gone Trent Walker and Wambisaka. Oh. Trent Walker Wambisaka. Greg. So I've gone with three. With with one with an eye or well two of them with an eye of playing as the backup centre back. Same here. I've, I've gone with Trent, Carl Walker, and Reese James. Exactly the same as me, Greg. Reese James and Carl Walker can sit in centre back for me. If the other thing is Reese James also got midfield in the locker, and so's Trent. Yeah, and left as back a, as another option, and left back. And so the reason I the reason I picked um, Reese James is. Chelsea have been playing a free and he's been playing in it. So he's he's used to the system. Yeah. If, we, if we switch to a free at the back, that's why with your argument, Kyle, I was like, we don't need to debate for me because I've gone with two that can possibly sit into that free. Yeah. Well, yeah, when I say I've, I've done, that's why I picked Walker because Walker, yeah, yeah. that's why I've got the two sort of, I've gone with one second trend because one of them can fill in while Walker goes as a, a third centre half. Luke Shaw could even come in on the left hand side. To be fair, Luke Shaw yeah, played yeah, left, yeah. left in the three. Right. So, so from our picks, Trent's in. Yeah. Yep. Um. Then three, three of us have picked Walker. Are you happy for him to go in, Dave? Yeah. To be honest, I, I, I nearly picked him as well for the same reason. The only reason I didn't is because I've been like tight. I was trying to get more forward players in there and I was looking at it thinking probably Rice or Henderson who I would pick could drop back into centre back if needed in an emergency the other thing is actually right so we we've now got we've got three for Walker and three for James so it's between Kyle and Dave to sort of pick which one of them is a shoe in who Kyle Walker and Reese James yeah so you've picked Kyle Walker Kyle, James, I'm going yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm saying. I think Carl Walker. I, do you know what? I, if you ask me for an argument, I don't know really. I just think I prefer him as a player, a bit more experienced. Played in big. Play, he's played in the, he's massive games. He's won titles. He's done all. He's done a lot. I just think you can. Re- yeah, Reece James is good, but he's been in. A, he, I know he's been in the team in bits. He's been in and out of that team. He's not always playing. And um, yeah, I just think I think Carl Walker for me. He's got the experience, tournament experience. I know you're again. You're talking about you could give it to Reece James for the. Next one, but fuck the next one at the moment for me in a, in a way. Mm-hmm. Let's worry about this one. And I'm, yeah, so that's why I'd go Carl Walker. Dave? Uh, I do like Carl Walker for the reasons you're saying. I did feel quite adamant with going with James because partly because of the future, but it's not like he's not a good player now. And he is a good player now. Um, mm. He's but one of the first names on the team sheet for Chelsea. He's got good delivery, he's strong, defends quite well. I, I think he'd be very solid. Well, are, are we are we ruling out Wan Bissaka because Jones is the only hundred percent? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, yeah, that's my personal choice because yeah. I think he's the best right back we've got defensively. But I'm happy. Yeah, see you later, Aaron. Sorry, Spider. I tried. <laughs> Drive very hard, didn't he? As soon as I went, are we ruling out? You're like, yeah, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, so 
Uh, how do we? I I think we've we've got to take three of them purely because of the of the um, the depth that we have in that that position and the variety of positions a couple of them can play. Um, it's down to you, really, Dave, whether you're happy for Walker and Rhys James to go in. No, I would put them both in. Yeah, like I said, the only reason I was ruling out, not ruling him out, but I was kind of looking at Rice and Henderson thinking one of them could drop back into centre-back, so I wouldn't need the cover for Walker. Have you put someone in then, like, further up the pitch that's quite debatable then? Or you no? would have, I think, yeah. Possibly. There's, there's even a couple of, one I can't fit in or I want to fit in, but... Uh, so no, that's, that's what I mean. Like we're we're right. debating this now, but then we yeah, it will now, probably now losing someone out of his squad. We will probably come back to it because there'll probably be two or three mm. that are outliers that we might go right. Fuck it, get rid of him and we'll put him in or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So right. we'll, we'll we'll pencil in. So don't Trent, lose the yeah. Don't Trent, lose the people. Kyle Walker, Reese James as the three. Yep. But it, we we could return to it and yeah. one of them might miss out, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so as it stands, we, we've picked nine defenders. So we've gone with Trent Alexander-Arnold, Kyle Walker, Reese James, John Stones, Harry Maguire, Ben White, Tyrone Mings, Luke Shaw, Ben Chilwell. Quite happy with that, to be fair. Mm-hmm. Um, right, we move on to midfielders. Now, this is sort of one of them, because a few of them are sort of wide men. So I don't know if you class them as midfielders or whatever, but... We'll put them out there. I'm going to go with mine. So, as midfielders, I've picked eight. Um, and my, my midfielders are Declan Rice, Calvin Phillips, Jude Bellingham, Mason Mount, James Ward Prowse, Phil Foden, Jaden Sancho, and Jack Harrison. They're my midfielders. Greg, we'll go with yours. So I've got to move Rice, Phillips, Bellingham, Henderson, Saka, Foden, Sancho, Mount, Grealish, and Sterling. Right. Sorry, mate. Go a bit slower. So Henderson, who was the next one? Saka? So I've gone, yeah. So Rice, Phillips, Bellingham. Yeah. Henderson. Yeah. Saka. Yeah. Foden. Yeah. Sancho, mm-hmm. Mount, yep. Greenish, yep. Sterling. Sterling, fair play. Um, are we counting Sterling as a midfielder then? Well, I've just... It could be for us and Sam. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll put him down as a midfielder because I've got Sterling as well. <clears throat> um, so we'll go with that. To be fair, I nearly didn't pick him, but... Yeah. Because we'll, we'll, we'll he doesn't go. really play up... Because he doesn't really play up front. Like, he plays wide... I'll yeah, just have him as a like, midfielder sort. Of. Fair play, yeah, and no, no, that's a good point. Um, right, so we we we'll go we we'll go with that. Um, Kyle, who are yours? Right, I've gone Rice, Phillips, Sterling, Sancho, Bellingham, Foden, Grealish, Mount, and Ward Prowse. Right, so Rice Phillips. I have Bellingham gone Saka Mount. as well. I've gone Saka, but I don't know if I've run out of numbers. I've lost, I've lost count of what I've oh, crossed so, out on that. So sorry, Kyle. So it was Rice Phillips, Bellingham Mount, Ward Prowse, Foden, Sancho, Sterling as well. Sterling. Yes, yeah, so I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I should have told you there. Have you got nine for me or no? Eight. Right. So Rice Phillips. Yeah. Sterling. Yeah. Sancho. Yeah. Bellingham. Yeah. Foden. Yeah. Grealish. Oh, Grealish. Sorry, I missed him. Oh, right, Mount and Ward Prowse then. Ward Prowse. Yeah. Both of yours. Fucking hell. Dave. How many have you not got for forwards, by the way? Like actual strikers? Four. four. So, yeah, I've gone with four. Can some of them play in the midfield, though? Potentially? Yeah, well, yeah, that's, I've, yeah, that's, I've yeah. I've yeah. gone with five, but two of which are wide men, really. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. Um, all right, and well, mid the midfield lot then: Phillips, Rice, Bellingham, Henderson, Saka, 
Sterling, Grealish, Lingard, Mount, Foden, Sancho. Right, okay, so... Give me a sec, boys. Rice Phillips. Lingard, yeah. Oh, did you say so? I'm I'm just trying to add up my fucking numbers. I think I'm gonna have one one more spot coming in. To be fair, yeah. Just trying to work it out now. Right. So, who have we got that everyone's got? So we've got. Right, so we've got Rice, Phillip to Bellingham, Mount. Everyone's got. Mm -hmm. um, Sterling, Sancho and Foden. Everyone's got, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Right, so then the outliers are Ward Prowse, Saka... Lingard, Grealish, and Jack Harrison. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go in first and fight Jackie Harrison's corner. So, Because <laughs> you look thing, like him. Yeah, I wish. First things first, this season, no English player, no English midfielder, sorry, has got more goal contributions in the Premier League than him. He's got eight goals, eight assists. He's got the exact same amount as Mane and De Bruyne, saying that Mane scored two today. So until yesterday or whatever, it was the same as Mane and De Bruyne, which when you put that into context is ridiculous. He, like People have fought the argument for Saka and people like that. He's got more goal contributions than Jesse Lingard, Phil Foden, James Madison, Mason Mount and Mason Greenwood in his first season in the Premier League. He's just turned 24 years old. He's only going to get better. And for me, I, I personally think in two, three years' time, he's going to be our main winger in the England team. I really do. I think he's that good, the kid. He's got everything. Um, so for me, that's, that, yeah. that, that's my argument for, for Jack Harrison. The other thing with he's, him is he can also play left wing back. He can play either wing. He, he's even played centrally for Leeds at points and looked good. He's got goals and assists in him. He's as fit as it gets. He's just, his control is unbelievable. He's quick. He's, he, again, he's has just... He's never been in 21s. I've never even seen him in a 21 no, squad. But that's because he was playing in America. No, I know. But still, it, I, I'm just thinking about it then. Yeah, he never, never got a sniff, mate. He was he was playing for New York City. Yeah, Playing, yeah, yeah. playing with David Villa, Andrea yeah. Perlo and Frank Lampard. And they were all singing his praises. Perlo's actually... And Villa were, were quoted as saying... He, he's going to go to right to the top. Like this is when he was like nineteen, twenty. Listen, but, his numbers. I'm not. I'm not denying. Like you've just read about his numbers are a joke. I just, but he's not. Uh, he's not going to. He's not going to start for England. I can't see him. But for me, ahead. as a as a backup option, why did you bring in Jack Jack Harrison on? He's going to cause problems. No, I know. I know what you know. I know. I know. Like, he, sold. He, sold. For me, like that. But, that. Sorry, go on. He's the one I'm most, obviously, uh, as a leader, he's the one I'm most passionate about. Like, I'd swallow Ward Prowse missing out, even though I think he's he's a fantastic footballer as well. Um, I just think Harrison offers so much more than than all, all the others that are being debated. The, obviously, Jack Grealish is the other one, but for me, he would been, he would have been a shoe-in, but I, I don't think you can take someone who ain't played football for four months. I don't know, but I don't know what everyone else is thinking. Apart from the free kicks, what does James Ward Prowse bring? I know, I know what you mean. I, I think he's very creative, mate. I think, I think he's a leader as well. Um, I think he's very creative. I think his ball playing is is brilliant. He's passing in general. I think he's tidy on the ball. At top um, level, though. What's that? At top level, I don't. I, I, I know what you're saying. I, again, I, I'm ha I'm happy to swallow Ward Prowse him out, but for me, I'd put him in. Right, in I did try to get Ward Prowse in, in as well. In Ward Prowse's defence, you we've sat here before, you know, many times. You said that. Trent's got to go because of his delivery. Well, his is up there with his delivery is up there with Trent's every day, if not better. 
Yeah, but Trent's so, in a different position where... Trent gives so much more, though. Yeah, you get so Lee in Prowse, is in, he's in the most vital position in the team, centre midfield. And I don't think he's, very, he's not very quick. He's not... I don't think he's like, you know, he, he's been in and around the, the England setup, and he's only just getting a sniff now. I know, I know what you're saying. If he was good enough, he would have been getting sniffs a long time ago. Yeah. I think he, he will, Jordan Henderson goes ahead of him in a way, but for, at, at, for this tournament. Oh, he's the he other one who's in debate. Sorry, I didn't mention Henderson. Jordan Henderson won't go because he's not played for so long. Ward Prowse has been playing, so what that is why for me, Ward Prowse just, will go ahead. Of, I just don't think Henderson James and Prowse Prowse brings a lot, mate, to the table. To be perfect, what, is, what does Henderson bring? Set piece injuries. Listen, no, I'm honestly, not, what, what, what I'm does not Henderson looking, do? I'm not looking for Henderson to, to start because of what's been going on. You can't, you're talking about leaders. I'm sorry, bro. He's just won the Prem, he's won the Champions League. He, he, oh, yeah, he drives City, City just won the Prem. <laughs> Greg, t- Greg for, I know what you're saying, but with Henderson, his ability isn't in question here. What, what's no, in- yeah, but I'm talking, yeah, but th- he ain't really going to play much if we take him. But everyone talks about passion, needing people to look up to, driving this team off the field. Exactly what you just said about Connor Cody. That, yeah. John, John, John Henderson's on another level to Connor Cody. I'm sorry, bro. Oh no, he is. He he's is. driven Liverpool since since Stephen Gerrard's gone. He's driven. Yeah. He stepped up and taken. But for me, you can't take someone who isn't fit to play. Like I know he's putting himself. No. Oh no, I'm fit to play. He's gone, isn't he? But if he's that fit to play, think, play he plays I, today. I'm not, I'm not saying he's fit to play. I think he's given himself. Can't take a cheerleader. No, no, but I think he's given himself. I think Henderson. Klopp has not played him to give him the best chance of it. I know he ain't got game time, but if you're the fittest you can be, I think he could he could he could do a job as as maybe coming on and you know. I know what you're saying, but for me, if he's fit, he comes on even for ten minutes today just to show everyone that he is available. He, he, do you know what I mean? Because if he's not even fit enough to have a ten minute run out at the end of the season. Just to show, hi, I'm we, have, we have got a couple of games. We've yeah, got a couple, couple of games coming up. There's no, there's nothing to say that he can do that in these next couple of games. Who? With a few, got a couple of games. Have we not got a couple of games, England? Oh, England, right. I, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if we've got, got a couple of friendlies. If you've yeah. got one yeah, Riverside, and I can't yeah, remember one. You, you, yeah. you can't take someone into a friendly as a warm up sort of thing when the squad's being picked. As we release it, it'd be, it's picked on the Tuesday. It's being picked yeah. tomorrow. So, but he's been training behind the scenes. This is what I'm saying. So, has he not? Has Klopp and him made a decision not to play to be as fit as he can be, then get a couple of runouts in these England games, and then yeah, this is what I'm saying. Maybe he won't start, but at least he's given himself the the best possible chance to maybe be a player that gets some minutes and also. He is one player that we we should take for everyone to look up to. He is the leader. I, again, I, I wouldn't take Henderson to start, but I think yeah, he's yeah. I think he's given himself the best possible chance. Right, well, I, t- I tell you what we'll do here actually, because we've got a few places that we're not like we've got up for debate. Let me just write them down. So we've got Lingard. Harrison. Add your time, Jesse. I'm sorry. Henderson. Yeah, not not for me. Saka. Um, who was the other? Grealish. Because what we'll do is we'll pick our strikers and then we'll come to an agreement as to who the ones we'll pick that are left over out and of the them all. Spare gaps. Okay. Yeah. Who who, who would be left? Um, so Lingard, Harrison, Henderson, Saka, and Grealish are the ones that are in question. So let's go to our strikers and then. Like I said, we'll, we'll pick our outliers from there. So, Greg, who, who are your strikers? How many have you got as well? You got most of four. With, I've gone with four. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, who are they? And obviously, two of these can play wide, but they also play through the middle. So, I've gone for Kane Rashford, mm. even though he ain't been brilliant, but he does do the job for England. And I've gone with DCL and Greenwood. Right. Okay. Snap, snap. Same as you, Jonesy? Exactly the same. Same as that. Same? Yeah. 
No, I know you've gone Bamford. He, listen, Bamford, <laughs> Bamford gave himself a fucking good shout this year, but he's just... But well, well, so all, all with, I, I've got the same four as you, but with Bamford as well. Mm. Um, okay. For me, if it's a debate now that, between DCO and Bamford, how's, how's DCO ahead of him? Not genuinely. Argument. Genuinely. Bam, Bam, Bamford's got four more goals and, and five more assists. For me, the only reason... And he's finished above him in the Premier League. How's DCL above him? Because he got a call up first. I know you're going to say about the, the numbers and all that, and I, I do agree. To a, a that's, lot. that's what strikers, strikers games a number. You can't, he presses yeah. better than, than DCL. He's fitter. He's quicker. Even though he doesn't look it, he is quicker than DCL. All, all I'm thinking is, if you think Kane is pretty much going to play nearly every minute for England in that mm. tournament, and I just feel like if, if someone comes on for, for Kane... It's, it's going to be because we're changing the game plan slightly. It might be because if we've got someone pinned back, we're trying to get a goal and you're bringing someone on, I would rather have Calvert-Lewin coming on than Bamford because I feel like he will get up there. He's a bit more beastly, I would say. Be, uh, be a no, that's presence. the only reason. That's the only you know, reason. Do you know what's going against Bamford is? He's running style because of the way he runs. You, you look at all the numbers in regards to like what people... like. He come out with Watkins and DCL press better than Bamford. Southgate said, "Look at the numbers, mate. You 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 don't get picked every week by Marcelo Bielsa, who's the most pressing manager in world football. Who you, basically said no one gets ahead of Patrick Bamford. We've just signed Spain's number nine in Rodrigo Moreno, and he don't get a sniff ahead of Bamford. Let, let me like this. No, he's on my standby. If, if, you're, if you're saying to me that like England are going to play a tournament and you've got no Harry Kane and no Rashford and you've got basically Bamford or Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I would have Bamford as my main striker for the duration of the tournament because over a longer period of time, his numbers are better and I would play him. But in this tournament, they're going to play a bit part. And I feel like Dominic oh. Calvert-Lewin's bit part would be what we might need for this tournament. But... If you're saying over seven games and you can only have one forward, DCL or Bamford, I would choose Bamford. Bamford played a bit part today. Come on and score. Yeah, I just feel like similar. You know, like some when when Arsenal used to have more or Chelsea when they have, like, when you bring on Giroud, like because you, you just need saying like I feel like he's yeah, yeah. he gives you some a little bit of that. But what does Calvert Lewin give you that Bamford doesn't? In all fairness, Calvert Lewin is not the best finisher either. To be fair to you, like, that's what I mean. What like I know you're saying, he is a, he's saying a he's a beast. Your Bamford, Bamford gives you something different to, to Kane, but what does Calvert Lewin and Bamford a very similar style of player? What does Calvert Lewin give you that Bamford doesn't? Goals? No. Bamford more assists? No. Bamford more pressing? No. Bamford more. He's got a better barn here. I'll give him that. But are England leads? Well, well, no, they're not. No, but this is what I'm saying. Or oh, England Everton. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> I Calvert think I'm going to... with, with yes, you, I know you've said it. He got the call up before. He's actually scored goals for England. They know how he like plays. Who's he played against? San Marino. You tell you telling me Bamford don't play, of... don't play and score in that game. It's one of them though. Is he? He's not played. No one knows apart from the Leeds players. No one knows about Bamford, how he played. Like, do you know what I mean? It's one of them. They've never yeah, played. I, I know, Bamford I know goes over Ollie Watkins we, for me. Definitely. We don't know any of them personally, but we're picking them. Yeah, I think this this, this, this we're going on thing. England games that they've they've been involved in and stuff like that, and obviously league form. I get it. Listen, I'm, I'm the other Bamford, thing is I think it sends a completely wrong message if Bamford don't get a call up. It basically no, sends a message of. It's not a form thing. It doesn't matter what numbers you put up. Yeah. If your face fits, you're in. Yeah, no, I, get, I, I couldn't, get tell, you, know it's a, it's I couldn't tell you a whole bunch of reasons why I've gone DCL over Bamford. Maybe it is just a, like you say, people just don't want to pick him because of certain things. I don't know. All I know is I've. It's well, taken him a long time to get up to a level, and he's done. He has done well this year, but I'm just thinking, yeah, I don't know. It's just they're, they're different players, man. So, so I think yeah. like that, the DCL can be that sort of, like you said, that beast, that target man is going to. 
when the ball go when yeah. the ball when that when, when from them goal he can leap he can leap he can leap he can leap he win he win, he actually gets onto his header. The amount of times you see him, he win that header, and he and he's onto it. I mean, again, but I'm not sure how many crosses are in that. Bamford probably does that as well. Uh, Bamford does do that, but how many crosses are England putting in? You got to look at the style of football we play as well. We're not what we used to be. We're looking behind now. Yeah, we're not yeah. a team that has a like even the wingers no... that we play. Sterling ain't running down the wing and whipping the ball in. That ain't what he does. So who is the, is the is the argument only Bamford and DCL? Yeah, no, I, I've picked them right? both. But what we've got now is look, we've got four positions. Take five, in, then. We, we've got four positions in the team now, and the argument is between Jesse Lingard, Jack Harrison, Jordan Henderson, Bukayo Saka, Jack Grealish, Calvert Lewin, and Bamford. Which Say them four, again, please. So you say them. So I've got Lingard. Let's go and say again. Lingard. Ling. Yep. Harrison. Yep. Henderson. Yep. Saka. I would lose yep. all of them. Grealish. Bamford. Grealish. DCL yep. and Bamford. Take, take okay. Grealish and Bamford, and I. I'd and we got to pick them. four from. We got to pick four from them, have we? Four from them. DCL stays for me. I'm. I'm well, I've picked the four. For, for, right, for, for me, my four is I, I pick two strikers out of them and mm-hmm. and I pick two midfielders. Yeah, that's what I've done. So, my, my, four, my four are DCL, Bamford, Harrison and, and I'll, I'll swallow Grealish. That's the same four. Same if four I was you. I wrote them down. I've done a quick little... Instant little thing, right? Look, who could I lose? Saka goes, Henderson won't in mind anyway, and Lingard, yeah. Are there any no, of them four that Dave and Greg have both got who we can put in as concrete? So Grealish. Dave? Grealish, yeah. Grealish. Right, Grealish is in. And then Welcome we've got three. So me and Kyle have gone Harrison, DCL, and Bamford. I just think, again, based on your argument, you, you you can't say you can't pick one and not again, again you can out, but again out of all of them like them four for example Carl that we've picked Jack Grealish sixteen goal contributions this season Jack Harrison sixteen goal contributions this season Patrick Bamford uh, only the 20, 24 goal contributions this season um, and Dominic Calvert Lewin also got eighteen goal contributions this season yeah I just don't I just don't think he will take. A Bamford and a DCL. I, look, I like, don't again, think that's, that's you'll, not, you'll that's, pick this. That's not the this, point this of it. This is what we yeah. would go. For yeah. me, them, them four offer the most. They, you've got to understand, these are attacking roles we're picking here. Them four have the most goals and assists out of all yeah, of them. Yeah. I do like Saka. He's got his versatility. But... Greenwood's in, yeah, yeah. Rashford, Greenwood and Kane are all in. Well, I'll, I'll take the five then. I'll take the... But then I've got to drop a midfield. Yeah, I'd take I'd, I'd take DCL and Bamford. Because for me, Rashford and Greenwood, none of them are playing through the middle for you. They, no. They're going to be wide men. So they're, better than, them, they're, they're not number nines anyway. No, they're not. They're, they're both they're both wingers, really. Out of them, I, I would I would lose Saka mm-hmm. because Saka's we have done. Got, we've got other players in wide positions that are possibly better. Henderson. Is the question mark? He was the question mark yeah. anyway. Mm. That's the that's that's the, that's the one, isn't it? You could bring Henderson in for any one of DCL Bamford, really, just to toughen up that midfield a bit. But I've, or but you I've could got, equally bring him in for one of the right backs, if that's. I, I had I had mm. standbys. I lit out of I picked the twenty six, and then I had standbys, and Bamford's on my standby, so. It's not to say that he was not even in my thinking. Oh, so yeah, I, yeah. I, I would have him. Cody was on my standby. We've done, we've we've already done that sort of. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. So D, Bamford, I wouldn't. I, yeah, I would. I would agree. Who would your four be then, Greg? So, what up front? The four out of them. So that, like one could be a bit. So we've gone with. You're four out of Lingard, Harrison, Henderson, Saka, Grealish, DCL, and Bamford. Who are your four? So he's taking skips. He's taking skipper. 
he was he was the he yeah. Your your arguments of Harrison's and the numbers and that you with black and white you can't lie like. It, and you've got to take into account age on his side as well. He's not injured, and he's fresh. Listen, I, I within this argument, I would have happily take Bamford and Harrison. Right, and DCL with Grealish to lose to lose to lose Saka to lose Henderson because of the fitness thing. I was obviously just putting that argument across as hmm. I wouldn't not want him there in any. Yeah, I know. You, but the thing, the yeah, thing I agree. Henderson, you can take Henderson as a non-playing member of staff. Yeah, if that was if that was a thing, because if, yeah, if he was nowhere thing. near, it is a thing. They done it with Beckham after he retired. They took him just to be in and around the group. I, I would motivate him. I would take Henderson as part of this as part of the England setup. But to not have him like, that I'll say to him, look, Jordan, you're un, you're unfortunate. Oh, we've lost Dave. Um, you're drawing back in. I'd say, look, Jordan, you're unfortunate that you've been injured for however long, but I will still take you to be a part of the, the wider team because he's going to be in the World Cup. Chances mm. are, if he's fit next season, he'll be playing. He will probably be in your World Cup squad next season. So I would I would take Henderson as part of the, the, the staff as such yeah. to be oh. in and around the squad, again, as, as, a, as an old head. And he can train with him and whatever, but I would, I would, I would just love him. As I would a love him to be in and around the like to be able to just get on the pitch if he could. If if uh, he's been playing this season, if he'd been playing for the last four, the last two games, over, yeah, he, he would have gone ahead of pretty wall prowse for me. Well, he's but, not in our squad anyway. Oh, was he not? No, he not make it. No, sorry, sorry, James. Um, all right. Well, I might have. You'd have had more of an argument if he'd been playing. Yeah, I'll, 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 leave him out. I'll, I'll go with Harrison and Bamford. I'll put them in because they, they have been unreal this season. That, Dave's the outlier. So we've all settled on the four of Grealish, Harrison, Bamford, ba- um, DCL. Oh, well, yeah. Well, L- L- Lingard for me was like a like an add-on only because he's on red hot form. Sometimes it's nice to have someone like that. Yeah. I think Lingard's just unfortunate that Foden, Mount, Grealish as well, all play his position yeah. in a, and are superior. It's too late. It's too it's late. When, this form's been unreal, but it's just too late. Like, it, and, it and again, be... what is he, 28, 29? Yeah. Is he going to get any better? Is, he even, is he even going to be playing regular football next season? On form, Joe Willock should be in the fucking team. Exactly. He's, he's one of them, isn't it? But for me, yeah. this is better in, in his position. Yeah, no, of course. That's what I'm saying. No, that's, that's, that's not a... It's not a valid shout. I'm just saying on four. Yeah. Seven it's seven. mainly because obviously Ma- Madison's obviously dipped massively. I thought maybe you could swoop in there instead of him, but oh, he'd have been really, a shoe in early in the season, Madison, for me. Yeah. He he because he, he fucked up. He would have been in my squad. Leader. He would have definitely been in my squad about a month ago. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy to lose Lingard. So I would have liked to get Saka in there because he obviously I love him, but also he he, he covers a lot of positions. He can Going left back if there's any disaster. Yeah. I think yeah. going forward though, Dave, he will be in England. Yeah. Again, I, I think do, it's too soon for I him. I do think he's unfortunate that maybe this one might be too too close. If I'm if so, I'm honest with you, what you said about Harrison, how Harrison can play left wing back and all that, mm. it's the same thing as Saka. But yeah. So I'm happy. I'm happy to bring Harrison in for for Saka. Yeah. Saka's numbers are not as good as Harrison. It's um, it's it's weird right. to say. I do like I do like Harrison as well. I do I do really like him. So that's I'll bring Harrison in. That that is going to suffer from Bielsa burnout. I can see it. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep saying it until one day it might happen. I'm like, I told you so. We've 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 peaked. <laughs> yeah. So right, So so we've got two that are hundred percent in so far: Grealish and Harrison. Who's yeah. the other two then, Dave? Because us three have all gone DCL and Bamford. So is that is Henderson, DCL or Bamford? Is that always between pretty, them? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You've you've ruled out Saka and Lingard. So yeah, Henderson, DCL and Bamford. Like I said though, I would I'd take Henderson as part of your your staff as such. But it, for me, I I couldn't pick him because he ain't played football. Well, I, I'd take DCL because I did I did pick him DCL. Right. DCL's in. Bamford or Hendo? Hmm. 
if well, if he's fully fit, I'd take Henderson to be honest with you. But if if you if we're all taking it that he's most likely not going to be. Yeah. Well, look, he's he's come out and said he's fit to he will be fit for the Euros. He said, but he's done nothing to prove that. Mm. Like it's fine coming out. Joe, if Joe Gomez comes out now and says I'm fit for the Euros, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we kicking yeah. him. Like, he's not playing football. You can't. It's a bit like Johnny Evans with the cup final the other the other the other week. Look at I'm what happened. I'm fit to play. I'm fit to play. Half an hour in breaks down. Look, I'll get that. Look at Harry Kane player. in the Champions League final a few seasons ago. Yeah, he was shit. Yeah, I'm you fit, have to I'm you fit. have to prove you're match fit. You have yeah. to you need at least three three four games under your belt. Minute, maybe yeah, even more. Listen. It's fine I'm, being fit. Match fit is a completely different ball game. Out of mm. all of you, I would be the one to obviously Liverpool fan be the one shouting to high heavens yeah. for Jordan Henderson. And I, I made my case, but I, I get exactly where you're all like. But he would not a normal normal situation, Greg. Like he has been yeah. the last two years. He goes. No, he's a, he's, a, he's why, a shooing. That's why I think I've conceded, and that's, that's why I've gone Bamford and DCL. I but think Ryan Phillips are fine for holding. This is now not any more than that. And Bellingham can play there play. as well, Kyle. Yeah. And and plus the squad that we've got here, Ben White can play there. Yeah. As well, Reese James can actually play there. Mm. Trent can allegedly, can't he? Yeah, Trent apparently can play. I've not seen it, but Mount we, there's options there. Well, there. Yeah. Mount's played well, deeper as well. Mount's oh, busy in there anyway, isn't he? You know mm. what I mean? He he could he, he's a bit he could he could be box to box old man yeah. if you ask him to. Yeah, I suppose it gives us another attacking option as well, which is always a good thing. Fine. I, and I think then. that's what you need in these tournaments. If you're chasing yeah, the game, you're not going to bring Jordan Henderson on here. Yeah, yeah. yeah if nah. you're chasing the game, you want a Harrison. You want someone like that who can come on and fucking either run at someone or do something. You know what I mean? You need the. And he is he is probably someone that not a lot of people around, you know, they might not be he might not be on the radar. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah, well that's for them. Yeah. Yeah. Look look at him. <laughs> I've got him in. Get in there, oh, Paddy yeah. boy. I've got Paddy and Jack Harrison in. Right, we're going back now. Luke Aylin. Secretly, Luke Aylin, yeah. Everyone doesn't know Luke Aylin. 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 <laughs> How's Melier not even first choice for France under 21s, by the way? Who is? Alban Lafont. Oh, Lafont. Oh, Lafont. Yeah. yeah. Is, he still a, is he still a kid? Yeah. I've, I've, I've seen him on Football Manager for about a decade. Oh, well, did we go? How's their GKs, though? I saw their under 21 squad come out and they've got like Upper Meccano in their under 21s. Yeah. And like, it's, it's mental. Their under 21 squad is a joke. They're blessed um, players. Their generation yeah. of players coming up is they're blessed, mate. Big time. Mm. Right, so our, our, that's our squad sorted, boys. We've got our 26. Let's go through them. So the goalkeepers we've got, we've got Pickford, Pope, Henderson. Defenders of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Kyle Walker, Rhys James, John Stones, Harry Maguire, Ben White, Tyrone Mings, Luke Shaw and Ben Chilwell. Midfielders of Declan Rice, Calvin Phillips, Jude Bellingham, Mason Mount, Phil Foden, Jaden Sancho, Raheem Sterling, Jack Grealish, Jack Harrison. Strikers of Patrick Bamford, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Marcus Rashford, Mason Greenwood, Harry Kane. I think We're winning the Euros, squad. boys. We're winning the Euros. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's a great squad. I like that. You got it, to um here's a quick one now. Just just to end it. What would what would you start in eleven be? Um he's he's gonna play based on however many of the last friendlies, he's gonna play four in midfield, um four at the back, um five in five in midfield, one up front. So whether he does the four, two, three, one, which is usually what he does. Two holding two hold, it, that but it's I know people moan about that. It's what he's going to do. So, so based on like the last however many eight nine games, that's what he's done. He's not going to change it now going into the Euros, is he? So, who who would your your goalkeeper be first, boys? Pickford. Pickford. Dave. Yeah, Pickford. Yeah. Same for me. I think Pope's a better goalkeeper, but Pickford's better for what we need. He's got better distribution, which is a massive thing. 
Um, so yeah, Pickford. He's had, real, he's had a good end to the season, Pickford. He has actually, yeah. Good. Um, two centre backs: Stones, Maguire. Provided yep. he's fit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, same, same for me. Stones, Maguire, right back. Kyle. Walker. Walker. Greg. <laughs> Trent. What's his name? Dave. I've I've gone Walker as well. That's a that's a toss up. It, again, it's sort of for me Walker against the better teams, the weaker teams. Sorry, Boyle, Scotland and the like. I'd probably play Trent. <laughs> I would because um, he's not going to be as needed defensively. Um, but for me, yeah, it would be it would be Walker just for that pace as well. It's frightening. Um, left back. This is a this is a toss up, but left back. Luke Shaw. I don't know if you're coming to me or whatever. I'm just, I, I, yeah, I, I, we're going we're just, shout, just, shout, just shout it out. Yeah, Luke Shaw. Oh, yeah. Dave? Yeah, well. Greg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love what Luke Shaw has done this year. I think he's been quality. But? But chill well for the fact that he gets forward and actually gets goals. Because Luke Shaw don't do that. Same, 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 exactly the same reasons for me. Chilwell mate. can defend. It's not, it's not that he can't defend. Yeah. He can defend, but he also gets forward and gets goals. And for me, with, with that formation that we play, with the two holding, it frees up the likes of Chilwell to go. Do you know what and I that's mean? Not, that's not a Man United thing. That is just me. Yeah. Look, Shaw, right, Shaw's well, been brilliant, mate. If it, was, if it was me six months ago, I wouldn't even have him in my squad. I'd rather <laughs> play with one left back for fuck's sake. Yeah, no, he he has he has turned it around and he's come back to a level this year. Yeah, and he it was literally it could be a toss of a coin between him and I'm only going over the attacking. Yeah, option. that is it. Because defending wise, he's probably better than Chilwell. Defending yeah. wise, he's defending very good actually. It's improved as well. Not, not, not a lot of people get past him, you know. Like, no, they don't. That's because he's so fucking wide. <laughs> Uh, it is just I, I went with it because of the attack and he, he Chilwell actually gets goals like today he could have had two goals today fair play mate right your midfield your midfield two really they, they pick themselves don't they Rice Phillips yeah, I'm, I'm, not play, I'm not I'm not playing with two would you not, not Eric, I'm just going based on what Southgate does but not Eric Dyer no he's not even in our squad mate we can't pick him um <laughs> Yeah, that like that's what I'd go with based on that formation. But well, my three in the middle would be Rice, Foden, and Mao just in front of him. Fair that's play. what I'd sort of do. That's right. So yeah, that's that's a different sort of outlook at it. But then I'd say like the front three: so your your centre attacking midfielder, your your right winger, left winger. I've gone with Foden, Mount, and Sancho. And they can all interlink as well there. That's the three I would go with there. See, I've, this this is where the England team becomes so fucking hard because we're blessed in that that front three with the striker bit. We're blessed. Mm. And for me, Phil Foden cannot, cannot, not be in the team. He's yeah, in. The he team. has to start, no matter what. His first name down for me. So yeah, so yeah. he's in. He's in the can for me. Really, hundred percent. He's in that can. Right. The golf. He's in the golf, and then I've, I, I would go with Sterling and Sancho. You'd go Sterling. I would, yeah, because it, yeah, I would. Really. He, he works he, hard as well. He's a tournament. He, He's not. You say he, that. What's he ever done in the tournament for England? No, he's an England tournament. Like he is, he is. I, I know what you're saying, mate. For for me, Ster, Sterling is one of. The, I would actually lose him out the squad. He no. he was that borderline for me. I don't that team that he's playing in, and he's putting up piss but you're saying, for that team. You, you're fighting people's corners for playing for Bielsa. You're talking about someone that plays for Pep Guardiola, wins leagues. Yeah, and he plays. He plays. Yeah, yeah, he does. But you look at the numbers he's putting up this season. He's been way below par. Yeah, but what he brings to what he brings to the games, sing, single games. You got to think of this tournament. 
It's single games. Yeah, you're right. But there's been a lot of England games where we've been flat and he's the only one who's kept going, kept buzzing. He might miss a shot and stuff like that. But he keeps buzzing. Well, he definitely does that. He around. definitely misses he misses loads. He does, but he keeps going. You know what I mean? He's better. Yeah. Oh, look, you are right, but from I'd actually rather start Greenwood than, than Sterling. I'd rather I'm, start Jack Grealish, to be honest. Yeah, I'd start it, Grealish. Inverted... I'd, I'd start quite a few of them ahead of him. But when he's a great option Rashford's to bring not, off the bench. Not in form. But yeah. you're talking about a tournament. Right? Oh, no, I do know, yeah. I love these players. That's why they're in the squad. But these are players, you're talking Greenwoods and that, are not going to be starters. No, they're, they're going to be coming no. on. When we're talking about starting... I think you just got to look at it and say, who is going to be them players yeah. that can play at a top level from minute one? And Sterling, for me, is there. I agree. Yeah, he, over the last however many years, he has proved it, but I just think he's not I, no, at the moment. I think he's I, the car. Being realistic, yes. Being realistic, looking at his form, of what he's shown this year, your argument ain't wrong. Mm. But... You flip it round and think tournament football, high level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For me, he's there. Also, what has Sancho done? For, what has Sancho's not really pulled up any trees in an England shirt, to be honest with you? But his numbers oh, yeah, domestically yeah. are a joke. That's why, yeah. for me, Sancho has to start for his numbers there. But and I think Rashford, Rashford's in, as I said, Rashford's in my squad, but he's been fucking poor. He's been shit for a yeah. yeah. He has. He's been poor. But he is just a player that I, you've got to take him. He he can change a game. Yeah, no, he can, mate. But he's not but my starter. Impact. He is not my starter. Rashford is not my starter at all. Yeah. Well, boys, well, we've we, is... we've we've settled on our squads anyway. Um. So yeah, we obviously I'll, Kane. I'll... Kane's number nine, isn't he? Obviously. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even get to that. Yeah, fucking no doubt. Um. If his biscuit ankles hold up, that is. Yeah. Um, It'd be all right. Yeah. That's if he don't put a transfer request in to leave England, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Scottish <laughs> grandmother or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But, yeah, no, I like our squad, boys. I must admit, I think it's um, it's good. We've got a mix of sort of experience and a lot of youth. Even though a lot of our experienced players are still relatively young, I... I that's the route I would go down. I'd bring a lot of youth into this squad because we've got a we got to look at what Germany done a few years ago. We've got a sort we have of got a young first. squad. We have got a young squad. Yeah. Who who is the oldest players in our squad? You have got Maguire, even Walker. Walker's thirty, I think. Yeah, Maguire, Walker, and Kane. It, really? What's Kane? Kane. Twenty nine. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Uh, twenty-eight, I think he is, isn't he? Yeah, twenty-eight, I think. That's a young squad, mate. What's that? What's Stones now? Twenty. Got to be twenty-seven, and he's Stones is probably up there as one of the oldest, but not. That's what I mean. We have. You, if you don't take Jordan Henderson, we ain't got no one over thirty. But I think that's. Him. I think that's good. Carl Walker. Yeah, but I like, like I said, I think that's good. Like we listen, we. It's not that we haven't got experience, though. Look at Foden, for example. How many trophies that, that boy won? Oh, yeah, I know. Thing is, we, we've done this before as a nation. We've gone with the players. Oh, they've got tournament experience. They've got this. they got that. What did they ever fucking win us? Yeah. You it's know, fine having that experience. but And even even like some of them, like, that some of these youngsters could argue are unlucky right with, with your Lingard and Trippiers. They're unlucky, I suppose, to miss out in our, in our squad. They've... You know, reach a semi final, but Alf, who did we play to get there, boys? We were yeah, so yeah. lucky that fell wide yeah, open. On the flip side, they bottled it, mate, in the semi final. Yeah. How are we not beating Croatia? Yeah, it's true, it's mate. Fun. That was so, you know, it was the biggest wave that we rode to get to a semi final of a World Cup. It was unbelievable. And I was behind the team the whole way. Yeah. But then we go out on a damp squid and lose to fucking Croatia. Thanks no for not squaring it, Harry. Do you know what I mean? Not no disrespect to Croatia, but fuck me. You're looking at our team and what we achieved in that tournament. How did we not beat Croatia? Yeah, you're right, mate. Hundred percent. But yeah, mm. don't let's not be surprised, boys, when Dyer gets named, Trippier gets named, Henderson uh, gets named. Be, the, the regulars are going to be there. I, I think all three. I think there's about six six players in our squad that don't get in. 
Oh, probably. And you'll, have, um, and, you'll, and you'll have your regulars, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I really do. I think there's quite Trippier, a lot in ours that won't get in. Trippier's look, at the end of the day, he had a brilliant World Cup and he's just won the Liga. He's going to be in Gareth Southgate's squad. He trusts him. The trust... Lingard might him. even... Yeah, Lingard a pretty nicker spot because Ling, he's... Lingard gets in that and, team. And Gareth Southgate trusts him. Harry Winks a pretty fucking nicker spot. Well, <laughs> well, look, we've got to look at... Personally, I don't think Calvin Phillips goes, mate. After today, I think he's dislocated his shoulder. I don't really? think he goes, which is a shame. Really? And then, what's that? What really? Is that? Is yeah, that... yeah. I don't. I think he misses out, mate. I think he's injured, which is a. I think it's a big loss for England. I think it would have been good for us. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. But it's one of them. And then I think he picks Henderson. I think Henderson yeah. comes in. Do you not think that that Bellingham could step up, mate? Yeah, I do. Look, I I do. I. In that position, I wouldn't play the two holding then. I'd just play yeah. two central and I'd play probably Bellingham and Mount. But that's or, very or Bellingham and Foden, however you want to go about it. But um, yeah, Wait, I, I just think Calvin's going to be unlucky and I think that injury is going to scupper his call up. And I think that makes Southgate's mind up then to bring Henderson in. Yeah. But it's one of them. We've always got Eric Dyer, boys. Just a quick question. Mm. After this talk, after this tournament, if this tournament doesn't go to to plan, as in like we, if we, if we don't make a semi final in this, I think Southgate should get binned. Hundred percent. With the team that we have, the players we have at his disposal, we've got to look at quarters as a minimum. I'm not I even think looking. Semi finals has to be a, a modicum of success. I'm if not even looking. the semis in the World Cup, you've got to make the semis in the Euros. I'm not even looking at other people's squads. I'm not even really worrying about other teams that we are... Shouldn't, we shouldn't, either. But I think the only team that should test us, really, on paper is France. France. Yeah. But That's then you, you look at France's group. They might not even get through the group. They've got Portugal and Germany in their group. Mm. They only need to not turn up for one or two of them games and they're out. Mm. And then what? The tournament's wide open. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I think you have to get at least a semi here. So who's England's next next manager? <laughs> Sorry for the optimism. <laughs> to be honest, I think I don't know. Yeah, give it a die. Give it a die. <laughs> Let Dyche have it. You've oh, got you've got to have a, ma- a manager who plays attacking football. You have to. Arsene Wenger. To be honest, look, Dave, he's the one I've been I've been saying this for a while. I, I would go with Arsene Wenger. It's not a week in week out job. The guy plays fucking good football. He and would he get these up playing. He would get us to oh, the field. He would be with these players. I, I would go with him, but they'd probably go with fucking Frank. Big like, Sam again. <laughs> yeah, Big Sam or fucking Pulis or something. That Frank? If, oh, you know what? It probably will be. Why not Stevie G, mate? Yeah. Uh, it's too. This. Uh... Why not? No, out of club football into England, he wouldn't. I don't think he'd do well, it. Southgate, don't what's Southgate ever fucking done in club football? He managed what middle? No, league? I think Gerard's too. He's done too much already. As in, like, yes, he's gone up there and won the league. Yes, mate. Um, I think he's he wants to go on a journey of management. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Not, not go into England, the big yeah, yeah. That's that's the last hurrah of of someone like. Legendary status, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I make you right, but yeah, so it's a weird one, isn't it? I couldn't put forward, an, I couldn't put forward a New England manager. I don't think who. It's a bit worry, worrying. There's no names jumping out, is it? No. Nah. Yeah, but there might have been a year's time though, or whatever. Yeah, you, it could well be, mate. Yeah, I think I think Gareth's got he, 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 Gareth's got the Euros and the World Cup anyway, regardless of what happens. Yeah, I think you're right. Nothing will happen until after that. A.D. Boothroyd could make a comeback. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no I, I, I couldn't put forward a name, to be honest. I couldn't. No, he's a tough one. Right, boys, let's let's end that there anyway. We'll, um, yeah, I'll get this all posted up on, like, when people will be watching and listening to this, it'll be Monday. So um, we'll only have 24 hours to wait until um, the actual real squad comes out and we see how wrong we are. So, um, <laughs> Gareth, 24 hours to reply. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Over to you, Gareth. Um, yeah, so uh, good effort, though, boys. I enjoyed that. I like good, our boys. squad. And I think I think if, if we was all in charge, boys, with that squad, I think we'd go far. To well, we'll put it out. We should put it out there to the to the listeners and followers. Yeah. Get their squads, get their squads in. 
yeah, send us send yeah, us I'll your squads, that, guys. Yeah. We'll um we'll post a little clip up of this with our I'll do a little graphic with our only football fans England squad, um, and you guys can tell us how how wrong you think we yeah, are yeah. or how right you think we are, and which players you would and wouldn't take out of our team. So um, yeah, we'll go from there. But everyone who's watching on YouTube, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and slap a like on the video and rate and review on podcast platforms. And uh, yeah, till next time. All the best, guys. Ta-da.